What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. Real life GTA in California. Now, look, before we get into these clips, man, I mean, there's three sets of clips here. One, the uh, showing of the devastation in this little neighborhood. Number two of them confronting the driver. And number three, uh, the driver, of course, getting arrested. It's crazy what happened. We're still, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to process everything. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Huntington Park, CA. cars were hit by a big rig. The accident happened on Saturday around 6 p.m. Thank God nobody was hurt. He crashed into parked cars. The truck driver was slurring when he was confronted and talking to cops. Driver didn't appear to be hurt. Field sobriety test was done in the middle of the street but I have no footage of that. He was then arrested and placed in the cop car. all the people affected by this. gonna break this down piece by piece drivers I, I need your thoughts on this now piece by piece man you know the first video you know of of the devastation showing that this truck you know looked like he was he, he lost control and just crashed through all of the cars that was parked in this little neighborhood now luckily 
And thank goodness that it wasn't nobody in the cars or anybody around the area was hurt. But of course, this was a residential area and it could have been much, much worse. You know, area with a whole bunch of people, area with some kids. It it, it could have been much, much worse than what it was. But, uh, you know, it was just, you know, cars, monetary value. And that's understandable. That's understandable. You know, cars can be replaced. Lives can't. Okay. So we're just going to take this piece by piece and uh, jump into the comments. Because some of the comments in here is like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, again, I, I'm just going to take it piece by piece. We're going to jump in the first set of comments from the first video. We're going to jump in the second set of comments from the second video. And the last set of comments from the last video. And we're going to see what the Internet has to say about this situation. Now, even though it looks tragic, but it really isn't. But what I do want to say is, is that for the people that's coming into this industry, thinking that trucking is easy, thinking that trucking is gravy, it's not. It's not. Whatever, whatever influences that this young driver was under, you know, being under the influence and driving the truck, don't miss. Let's jump into this first set of comments. All right, let's go. First commenter says, my question is, why is a tr commercial truck in this location? Uh, the reply comment says, it's actually a truck route coming up. He could only make a left or a right turn, but it's still crazy. Now, some truck routes do go through areas that you really think that trucks don't need to go through though for real this commenter says does anyone know why the truck was in the neighborhood streets good question again you know as the previous commenter says it was a truck route this commenter says how many total a reply commenter says about 10 cars all together this commenter says, dang, I'm sorry for y'all. Hope y'all fine, but also hope y'all have full coverage insurance and gap insurance. Yeah, I mean, you know, hopefully for the for the for the cars that was in the wreck, you know, of course they're gonna use their insurance to get it, but you know, their insurance is definitely gonna go after the trucking company for the replacement of their cars this commenter says something like this just happened on my streets two weeks ago lady was on something driving a maserati truck hitting four cars in la streets hope everyone has insurance if the truck driver doesn't have insurance then that's going to be a real nightmare now if you're if if the truck driver is a company driver then of course that company is definitely going to have insurance. All right, so we're going to jump in the second video uh, comment session. As you guys already know, everybody kind of like gathered up to the to the driver. And, and you know, of course, the young lady was upset. And, you know, she was over there hollering at the driver and everything. What I want to say about that is after an accident, you know, like I said, we're we're not sure what was the driver was up under, what what type of influence that he was up under. I mean, at the time, he probably could have had a heart attack. At the time, he probably could have passed out. He could have been he could have been fatigued. Um, anything, you know, diabetes, high blood pressure, medical condition, or anything like that. The only thing that I disliked about this particular video in particularly the second video is that everybody gathered around this driver and just started hollering at him like you know just hollering and hollering i understand the emotions and the and the adrenaline and you know and the anxieties but still people we're we're supposed to be human we're supposed to be 
we're supposed to at least make sure that the driver is all right. The problem that I have uh, with the second video and everybody running up on them is, again, you, you don't know what type of mental capacitation that this, this driver is in. I mean, even though he looks incapacitated, but he could have, somebody could have opened up that door. He could have, you know, he could have shot. He could have jumped out with a knife or anything or anything. You, you don't just run up. You don't just run up. And I understand your anxieties is high, but you just don't run up there. The thing you want to do as a human being is to go and make sure that everybody, including the driver, is all right. Let's jump into these comments. First commenter says, pouring salt on an open wound. If he pulls out a pew pew, then what? Leave people alone, especially immediately after an accident. I agree. This commenter says, what's arguing with the guy going to do? What's arguing with the guy going to help with? Exactly. The incident already happened. The accident already happened. Ar arguing with the guy, with the driver, is not going to do anything. This commenter says, believe me, your damages will be taken care of. Those trucks have million-dollar insurance. So go pick out a new car. <laughs> this commenter says, screaming at him once the damage is done isn't going to do anything. Exactly. The damage is already done. I'm sure the driver already feels some kind of way. Going over there, arguing with him or hollering at him is not going to make things better. It could have been a worse scenario. Material things you could have get back. Someone's life you can't. Understand. Understand. Those cars can be replaced. But a life can't. Exactly. This commenter says, I understand she is upset, but at least she's alive. That's why you need full coverage insurance and gap insurance. You will never, ever know. This commenter says, maybe his blood pressure went down. You don't know. Don't judge without knowing. You don't know what, it could, what he could have been going through. Exactly. Exactly. We don't, uh, we don't know what incapacitated this driver. You know, your, your medical could have did it. You know, maybe he was fatigued. Or, of course, you know, he could have been, he, 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 he could have been intoxicated. But we don't know. We, we don't know. We're we only going by the story that we're presented with. This commenter says, as a truck driver, I can tell you that there is a problem where they're trying to hire so many people so fast and skip a lot of mandatory training. I agree with you to an extent, but again, I'm going to say it much more, is that we don't know why this driver was incapacitated. And we don't, understand, we don't know what happened to make him cause the accident the way he did. Maybe, maybe the truck brakes went out. We don't know. And this last commenter says, What's recording and arguing with the guy going to help the situation? Exactly. I mean, it's just like a sea of people, like a sea of people. It's like a sea of sharks. Just. And just come up with the cameras, the camera cultures everywhere. And, and instead of just saying, in, instead of seeing if the driver is all right, everybody is just standing there with the camera and recording. That's what I didn't like about this. It was a meme that I seen some time ago. It showed a, it showed a person was drowning and it showed everybody else with cameras just recording it. Not one of them offered to help this man. We about to jump into the last uh, video comments. Uh, it's showing here that, you know, the driver is being arrested. In one of the comments, it did say that the driver was slurred he was talking to the officers with slurred voice and everything. Still, still, we can't tell whether the, if the driver was incapacitated over, you know, because of alcohol or 
anything of that matter. He could have been incapacitated because his blood sugar went down, his blood pressure might have went high, or anything for that matter. Let's jump into these comments. First commenter says, he's insured to a million. I'm sure of it. That's usually the cap on all our policies. Glad no one was hurt. This commenter says, was it confirmed if he was incapacitated or was he intoxicated or was he just maybe sleep deprived? It, uh, we're not sure. You know, there, there's no more videos on this and I couldn't find the article if there was one to find out, you know, what happened. This commenter says it could have been lack of sleep. It could have been. He could have been sleep deprived. He could have been fatigued. This commenter says, was he drunk or having medical issues? Good question. We, we don't know, you know, as far as him being slurred and everything, it could be a number of things. This commenter says, thank God it could have been much worse. Yes, it could have been. Might have a medical emergency. You would never know. Exactly. And on that note, we, we're going to leave it right there. And again, drivers, let me know what you guys thoughts on this. Um, it's a tragic situation, and I'm just glad everybody uh, that was involved wasn't hurt, including the driver himself. Uh, maybe they're going to take him to the hospital to make sh you know, to give him the once over to make sure that if he was drunk, incapacitated, or it could have been, you know, medical issues so let's make sure that he's all right of course the company will reimburse everybody's their vehicles all they got to do is just make a claim for it accidents happen let's just hope and pray that nobody gets hurt in it big cheese got it locked boy Won't you let me out?